So Great Britain play their first match of their tour of Oceania this weekend. They play a Tongan invitational team and we've just had the squad revealed. Now, it's an interesting squad, if we just run through it quickly. We've got Koo at fullback, McGilvery, Hardacre in the centres with Gildar, uh, Ryan Hall on the other wing in the house. We've got Gareth Widdop, Jackson Hastings at prop, Chris Hill, um, Josh Hodgson at Ucker, then front row Luke Thompson, Back row is John Bateman, Elliot Whitehead and James Graham at loose forward with a bench of Josh Jones, Tom Burgess, Johnny Lomax and Alex Wormsley. Jack, there's a few controversial there choices is. in there, particularly Zach Hardick starting in the centres, Ryan Hall mm. not played much this season on the wing. We've got an interesting halfback partnership of Widdop and Hastings with no Austin. Chris Hill is in there, James Graham at is, loose yeah. forward, this is a typically win, Bennett like unpredictable is, yeah. side it what is. do you make of it he's obviously got his favourites as Bennett and he, he always has done it all the clubs he's been at before um, and I think that's typified by Ryan Hall and Zach Hardacre both yeah. players that he's worked with in the past and that he likes um, I mean I, I know Hall was you know, there were a lot of people who criticised his inclusion in the squad as a whole but you can't deny that he always turns up on the international stage always does his try scoring record is impeccable um, yes, he hasn't played much this year, but again, in the games he has played, I don't, I don't think he's scored in the NRL, but he, he, he's knocked out of place like you know some players sometimes do when they go over there from Super League. So yeah. you know, I think his selection is justified. I think if Tommy Makinson was available, which is obviously not because he injured his shoulder in the grand final, he may have been in there instead, but I think Hall's a, a fair enough choice. But like you said, Hardick is the interesting one for me. I didn't expect that at all. I thought he would go with Jake Connor. Because yeah. I mean... Again, we talk about William Bennett having favourites, and Connor is, you know, I think you'd probably have to say he's one of those favourites. He, yeah. he was, um, he was in the England Nines, uh, in, in the England Knights squad, sorry, um, a couple of seasons ago. Uh, got called up to England's game against New Zealand in Amer when we played in America, um, simply because William Bennett liked the look of him yeah. as a player and thought, you know, he he could do a job for us. He did really well in that game, and you know Bennett's liked him since. I'm really surprised that he's not chosen him in the centres. Yeah, I'm really surprised. What what changes would you have made? Because there's there's other players that have, are not in there. For instance, Daryl Clark. Mm -hmm. You look at surely plays for him on the bench. Johnny Lomax. Yeah, I been the best player in Super League this season. Can't find him. He's way into the halves now. It's it's a tough one because there's so many players to choose from. But there if, is, if yeah. he was. If you were Greg Brennan head coach, what, how would your team I think, look? Like you mentioned in the halves, we've got so much. We, you know, he's, he's got an embarrassment of riches basically in that position. You know, we've got um, Widdop and Hastings who are starting there. We've got Lomax. We've got Austin, who's Austin's not even made the extended bench. Yeah. You know, Austin, Austin's one of the three that's been left out of the twenty-one as a whole, which I think says a lot about our halves options. But yeah. if I was to make changes, like I said, I probably would have gone with Connor in the centres. I think he's he's a bit of an unpredictable player that you need out on yeah. those flanks and could create chances. Um, I'd have kept the halves as they are. I think Chris Hill is lucky to start. He's, no, he, you know, I think he, he's in there because he's just a solid runner. Yeah. Um, and he's reliable and consistent. I think that's why he's in there. So you know, fair play for that. But I think if we're looking at, I know you're going to talk to Trevor about the Tongan props in a minute. Yeah. If we're looking to match them, I would have gone with Walmsley and Thompson as our front rowers. Right. Yeah. James Graham in there at loose forward as well does a job. Yeah. Um, that's a formidable pack for me and. Um, Again, I think Lomax on the bench. I think it was between for me. It was between him, Austin, and Clark. Yeah. Uh, and I would have been happy with any of the three of them on the bench. And Lomax has eventually got the nod. So yeah. I think it's a good-looking team in all. I think we will definitely have a good chance against Tonga. Um, again, I, you, you're going to discuss it in a minute, but they've got a good good squad as well. But I think it'll be be a cracking game. It'll be a really good contest. Really good contest. Yeah. So Trev, just run us through. Uh, the Tongan Invitational team that I'll take on. Yeah, the man, definitely. Just before I do that, like how good is it though that Wayne Bennett has a headache when it comes to selection? Oh, it's superb. Great, true, We've yeah. not had it in a while. It's, in it's been a long time superb, since yeah. this has happened, mm. and it's getting the people talking, which is great. Yeah, mm. exactly. And that, but with the Tongan Invitational thirteen team, uh, they got Will Hopperwadi, David Fisatua, Michael Jennings, Katoni Staggs, Daniel Tupo, Tumalola well, here. Ella Hingano, Andrew Fafida, uh, Suva Havali, Siasua Takihaho, and he was named as captain as well. Ben Murdoch Misawa, Manu Mao, Jason Tamalayo, and on the bench, uh, Siani Katoa, Adam Fanua Blake, John Asiata, Satili Tupanoa, Junior Tilala, 
Conan Howe and Tissy New. Yeah. That's yeah. obviously an extended bench, some great yeah. Yeah. pronunciations in there. <laughs> you, did, which, you did well there. Which, <laughs> out, of, there, which out of those players do you think uh, the Lions need to be wary of? Mate, obviously you've got Jason Tomalamo, he's good. Uh, Manu Mao, obviously the latest Hull FC signing. Indeed. He's known as the Tongan Predator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's pretty good. Andrew Fafita, because we all know what he's done for Australia and Cronulla mm. over the years. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh also, Daniel Tupo, he had a great season with the Sydney Roosters. Obviously, he won another premiership with them. Uh, Michael Jennings, even though he's getting on, he's still very dangerous. But also, who I'll be also watching is Adam Fenor Blake. Unit. Absolute that, unit. So what happened was, like, obviously, Manly had a lot of injuries this year. He stepped up mm. in the absence of Marty Tapao. He stepped up and led that forward pack. And everyone was writing Manly off. But he led it, so coming off the, for him coming off the bench, mate, he's going to be a good impact for the Tongans this weekend. Yeah. I, I think um, forwards and outside backs are where their strengths are, without a doubt. Yeah. You look at that list. I mean, uh, one player that's named on the extended bench but hasn't made it to the starting thirteen is Conrad Hurrell. Yeah. We all know how good he's been for Leeds this year. He's yeah. been an absolute standout, um, yeah. and he's not made that starting squad. I think that says a lot about their outside backs. The one area they might struggle, I think. Could be the halves. No, I mean, they've got yeah, Lola yeah, here yeah. there who yeah, yeah. has had, well, it started off as a bit of a downer season but ended on a high, oh, obviously, right. making the grand yeah, final yeah, Salford. Yeah. But, you know, can, can he sort of control that squad? Not too sure. He could do, you know, um, especially alongside Hingana, who, again, is a bit of um, a bit of an unknown quantity. He's played a handful of NRL games, I believe. Yeah, like, like don't get me wrong, like, he, he can do the job, yeah. but again, it comes down to experience. Mm. So, but then when you look at their front rowers, like in Fafida and Takihaho, no, they're, they're really great. Uh, so if they don't uh, get over the English forward pack, mm -hmm. so I can sort of see where Bennett has picked Graham at his head because yeah. he knows he's coming up against a big Tongan yeah, team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he needs at least big players out there. And when they do do their interchanges, like with Adam Fenor Blake coming on, like he's going to be mm. another wrecking ball. So, you know, people think, oh, okay, well, Takihaho or Fafita has gone off or... Tom Olomo, and you just want to get for Noel Blake coming at you, mm. and he's just a wrecking ball. Yeah, yeah. that that is one. But the, the one place I do think it could be one lost is the halves. Like I, you know, I know I just said that the, the forwards and the, the yeah. outside backs are evenly matched. You know, I think they're they're, they're probably just about on par with each other. Yeah. Then the halves is where I see the big difference. We, yeah. you know, we mentioned well, about mate, the depth. Like I think lines. Like I think lines and their halves with Hastings and Willow, mm. mate. Like they got they seem better game management than what. The Tongan team yeah. have, but still yeah. you can't. Uh, and they and I remember saying this when into a Super League Grand Final. If your forwards aren't pumping, how you expect your backs to yeah. do what they need to do? Sure. So it's going to be awesome to see. I've got a question for both. Yeah, first, Jack. If you're a, a rugby league coach, w yeah. which out of these two squads would you rather be in charge of? Oh, <laughs> I think. Um, I'm going to have to say patriotism takes over here. I'd, I'd take over Great Britain, if I'm honest. Yeah, I think well, working with halves like that would be brilliant. Try uh, I'd love to work with Great Britain right, okay. you know, if I was a coach. Now, I'd, 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 as a kid growing up, you know, watching the old kangaroo tours and against Great Britain, just the history, I'd mm. love to work with yeah, Great Britain. Yeah. No, nothing against the Tongans. And that, like, I've got plenty of friends who are Tongans. Yeah. No disrespect, boys. <laughs> but... Uh, no, but definitely it'll be awesome to work with the Great Britain team. In yeah. fairness, on professional coaches' wages, I'd happily have either. I'd go for the team in the way. <laughs> hey, you know, that's it. Hey. And handing the CV. <laughs> yeah. Just predictions then, guys. Who, which way do you see it going? I think it'll be close, but I'd say Great Britain will just get the edge. Great Britain by eight. By eight. Mm -hmm. Very precise. <laughs> what what your predictions, guys? Um, let us know what you think of the two squads. You happy with the Great Britain team? What changes would you make? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below.